Hello everybody, this is Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers and you're here with me today for a, a virtual reality tour of the interior of this 1960s Humber 60 barge. Now this is a virtual reality video so if you want to just swipe your screen or click your screen up, down, left or right anytime and you can look where you like, when you like and we hope that this amazing feature allows you to feel what it's like to be on this boat without being actually in her. How cool is that? Now some people do feel a little bit sensitive to the movement of the camera so if I'm going to move the camera I will let you know so you can avert your eyes and then once we're safely back down again I'll let you know and you can look back and we can continue the tour together. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So this is video one of two. Now this video is going to show just the main living area with inside the barge and the second video will show you the sleeping areas etc etc so I can almost guarantee you a nice surprise so shall we take you for a look let's pick the camera up there we go so up to the companionway and I will place you at the top and almost in the middle of the whole interior so there we go now what do we think how cool is this bit of a surprise from the outside I think outside needs a bit of work but Look what's happened down here. The owner has completely refitted her out. He's ripped the interior out, lined it, put in a galley, a, 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 a saloon area and a dining area and the other areas which I'll show, show you in a different video. How lovely does it feel down here? Light, bright, airy, neutral throughout and loads of space. There's more room down here than a lot of small properties in the Brighton area, I think. Um, but let's have a look around to see if you might like her. So let's pick the camera up again and we'll start aft. I'll place you on the saloon table. There we go. So you're nestled somewhere in the saloon, uh, sorry, in the dining area, about to have your dinner. Just look around you. Look at the space above. Hi, the head high test. I'm five foot nine. I, I'm not going to be anywhere near the ceiling. Somebody who's uh, well over six feet may clonk here, but I think generally speaking, this boat will cater for anybody of any height, which is brilliant. Now, looking above us, we can see along the length of this compartment, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six operational skylights, and loads of light flooding in all the time, which is fantastic. The companionway itself, um, I don't know if you noticed when we came down, it's fairly shallowly raked, and it's really easy to get over and into it. So I, I think uh, most people, shouldn't have a problem coming down here with their shopping baskets but uh, the next step would be to perhaps add a banister in there but uh, as it is uh, the way it is it just keeps it all nice and clean and uh, fresh lines etc etc we've got the uh, the girder coming across in the middle which gives us a sense of the, the boat's industrial past i guess and that needs to stay because it's going to be part of the boat's structural strength to, uh, to keep her as she is. But uh, the dining area itself, as you can see, plenty of space, much more than you would expect on a boat of this size. Loads of room there for people to, uh, to sit and lounge and have fun while somebody's cooking in the galley or while the kids are watching TV, etc. This side, or the, the starboard and the midship side of the boat, is all carpeted throughout, which is lovely, nice light grey carpet, feels nice and homely. Whilst the port side here, or port of the midship side, um, is raised slightly, and we've got this uh, vinyl uh, wood effect flooring as well, which looks quite nice, very modern, and suits the, the white galley as well itself. Doorway there through to the bedroom, which we'll look at, look at in the other video, but generally speaking, very nice place to be, I think you'll agree. So let's pick you up again. And I'll place you uh, sort of in the middle of the galley here so I can walk up and down and talk to you about the galley and the other bits and pieces. So we've got the swathes of work surface there, all nice and solid. We've got a nice big opening window there. We've got a non-opening porthole there. And we have another opener here, a smaller one. But um, the amount of galley you get for your money here compared to anywhere else is just amazing. Um, if you look around as we're doing the tour you'll see that we've got double sockets everywhere. I think all with USB charging as well so great for the kids and their, uh, their iPhones. But the galley itself, we've got drawers, we've got uh, fridge, we've got drawers, we've got a freezer, we've got another fridge, loads of equipment and possibly more than you would expect to find at home really which is amazing. Just below the camera here we've got a nice cooker, proper normal sized house one and here we've got a five burner hob, um, probably more than you've got at home I guess. Uh, underneath there again we've got drawers, we've got a larger unit, um, we've got a cupboard here finished off by the, uh, the dishwasher at the end there. I'm done. Just poking in on the right hand side here, we've also got uh, what looks, looks like the washing machine too. So, um, 
very nice area. I don't think you're ever going to run out of chopping up space here um, or cupboard space because there is so much, which is absolutely fantastic. I'll just pick the camera up again and take you down towards the forward end of the galley just so that you can take in the forward end of the galley but also you can see the, uh, the, the saloon area better as well. Lovely great big area, massive suite here. I think most three-piece suites would fit in here and the TV on the forward bulkhead is a great idea. And again, just to take a look up, you can see the space, you can see the light coming in, we can see all the portholes around us. So um, we're feeling like we're, we're on the water, but we're also feeling like we're in a really nice luxury pad, I think. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers, just taking you for a tour around the inside or the saloon area the galley area and the dining area of this 60 foot Humber barge from the 1960s. Part one or two, do go for two, part two for a, for a look at her two bedrooms, her shower room and her bathroom. Thanks for watching and have a great day.